so it looks like it's a lot of work to dehydrate uh, apples but it's not really as you see we've got one of these little spinning gadgets and you put it in and it peels it and it spins it takes the core out and what you get is basically this which is nice and easy and from there I just cut that spiral in half like literally I just cut it in half and then go on to oh excuse my bad filming my dehydrator and just simply lay them out it's very quick and it takes one or two days to do it um, kind of depends on the day I think sometimes it seems to take just a one day sometimes it takes two I mean I know I'm cutting them all evenly but anyway after a couple of days and I've got that many trays Thank you. I'll end up with a bunch of these, which are very, very delicious. And these ones are kind of bendy. Sometimes I make them a bit harder. And then as part of my uh, reduce, reuse, recycle thing, uh, this is obviously a Makona jar. And this is the little oxygen sachet out of the uh, COVID test packets, which obviously at the moment we're doing quite a bit of. I'll put one of those in there. And um, there you go. Ready to go. And be stored with everything else in the pantry. Ooh, but I'm going to have to make some room. Now we all get to a point where we have insane amounts of uh, dried apple, but I will use it over winter time making um, desserts and um, adding it to meals. I like to stick a little bit of it in it with meatloaf or in with um, sausage balls, sausage and cheese balls. And then about half of these dried tomatoes will get ground down into this tomato powder which is just really good. It's a little bit lumpy because it's kind of an oily product. But um, yeah, put a couple of spoons of that into your soups and stews and it's a game changer. Like magic.